welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Angel and today I'll be sharing some more fun and simple DIYs. Before we get started, as always, if you enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel and click that little notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. For this project, I picked up one of these Dollar Tree Halloween lanterns and it is this bright orange color. So I'm gonna take that all apart, take out the little light and the top piece. And I had to give this about three or four coats of my white chalk paint to cover that orange. And then for the top, I am just using some black chalk paint. Then once my lantern was dry, I am going to take a baby wipe with some of my antique wax and I'm going to go over the lantern. I did have to use a brush to get into the crevices, but this is going to give it that nice wood look. I also ended up going back in and painting the inside of the lantern black as well. Then all that was left to do was just put everything back together. And here's how it turned out. For this next project, you're going to grab two of these hurricane vases from Dollar Tree, as well as some of this white faux leather that they have in the stores now. And you're just going to go ahead and cut down two pieces that will fit nicely around your hurricane vases. Now I'm just going to go ahead and use this little ghost cookie cutter that I have from last year, but you can use anything you have already or draw your own ghost, but I'm just going to put this down on the back of the leather and I'm going to trace around it. Then I'm going to go ahead and fold this in half and I'm going to take my scissors and make a very small cut, just enough so that I can get my scissors in between there and cut out the ghost without cutting the edge of the leather. And once I have the ghost cut out, I'm just going to go ahead and fold these in half. And I'm just using my little hole punch here. And I'm going to make five holes in the backside of this so that I can lace it up around the vase. Then I'll just use some twine and I will lace this up. And I'm just doing a just simple lace like you would lace your shoe for this. And then I'll tie a bow at the top. You could definitely hot glue this to your vase, but I just want to be able to change this out for different holidays and seasons. And finally, I just added in some Dollar Tree LED candles and here's how they turned out. This next project is super easy, but is so adorable. You're going to need a pillar candle, some wax paper, and then one of these napkins from Dollar Tree. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and cut down your napkin. You want to go ahead and cut as much of the excess napkin as you can off of this. You just want to keep the image and what you want to place on the candle. Then you're going to go ahead and take the second ply off of this napkin and place it around your candle. Then you're just going to place your wax paper over top of that and do be careful because this is going to get hot. You're going to take your blow dryer on a high heat setting and just go over this. And as you are doing this after a few seconds, you will notice that the image is getting darker through your wax paper or you could also use parchment paper as well for this. This, but you'll still be able to see the image getting darker through that paper and that's how you know when it is ready. And I think you can see kind of in this video as the images are getting darker when I'm going over them. So I just made sure that I went over everything a few times, made sure the image was darkening everywhere, and then I'm very slowly going to pull this wax paper off. 
And as you can see, the image from the napkin has been transferred to my pillar candle. The rest of the paper just melted in as I used my blow dryer. And here I'm just going around the candle and rubbing off any excess wax that had melted. Now obviously I would not burn these, but look how cute they turned out and they would make a perfect addition to your Halloween decor. For this next project, we're going to be making a simple Halloween banner using a Dollar Tree dowel rod and some of their black fabric. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and fold that fabric in half and then fold it over one more time. Then I'm going to take my ruler and just kind of measure out where I want it and I'm going to cut diagonal across that fabric. Now technically I should have did this before I made my cut but I decided I wanted that frayed edge to look more clean. So I just hot glued a small piece of it, folded it over, and then I did have to fold that back in half and trim it down again. Then I just added some hot glue to that dowel rod and I'm going to roll the top of this banner down over it. For my wording, I'm going to be using these Dollar Tree stickers, but I'm not actually going to be using the stickers. I'm actually going to be using the background from the stickers to spell out boo and use as a stencil. So I just went ahead and cut out the letters that I'm going to be using, and then I will peel these backgrounds from the sticker letters and place them onto my fabric. And once I have all of the backings from the stickers onto the fabric, I'm going to take some painter's tape and tape around my words so that I don't get any excess paint onto the fabric. Then I'll just use my white chalk paint to fill that in. And once it was dry, I was able to just remove all the tape and the backings from the letters. I did use one of Dollar Tree's little Cricut tools to remove the center of the O's and the B. And finally, for this project, I just used some Dollar Tree yarn to make two little tassels to hang off the sides of this. For this project, I picked up four of the chunky wood pieces from Dollar Tree. I have two of the 10 inch and two of the 8 inch for this project. Now I'm going to go ahead and use my ruler to make a diagonal mark across the top of this and then I will cut that down with my miter saw and I'm just going to use that piece to cut the rest of my pieces exactly the same because we are going to be making some little wood cats. And if you are looking for a hand miter saw I have one linked below that I absolutely love and I use it all the time but once I had all my pieces cut down I'm just taking some black chalk paint and I'm very roughly painting over these you can see I'm kind of leaving the edges bare because I'm gonna go back in with some of this antique wax and rub it over top of these to give it a rustic look and then I will just wipe it off then I will just use some Dollar Tree wood glue to put my little cats together. For the eyes, I went ahead and just traced out a little template on just a regular piece of paper and then that's what I'm going to use to make the cat eyes. I just went in with my white paint marker to go over where I had traced with a pencil and then I'm going to fill these eyes in with a small brush and some of my white chalk paint. Then I'll just go back in with one of my black paint markers to make the pupils. And finally, for this project, I just took a few pieces of twine and wrapped it around the neck of the cats and just tied little bows. And here's how they turned out. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys next time.